<clears throat> Did I get some goodies from the Steam sale? I've picked up Dirt 4, uh, Ninja Tycoon. Let's just get going. Bricks. Turn off. Set the uh, PZB on. Super. What could go wrong? Hit or miss? I guess I never miss her. I bet he doesn't kiss ya! Have you got um, Ellie's new number? I don't have Ellie's new Do number. Do you want Ellie's new number? Do you want to just drop it into my phone? Okay. Come on. It's all this. I right. guess I never miss her. That's it. 40. Brakes are off. Fixed and then close the door. I can't remember how to drive a train, folks. What's this do? That's what I was just thinking. Oh, right, that. Um, this is an AWS button. It's a real one from a train. Mm. Hope they don't need it. That's what's pushed on. That's pushed on. Okay, I think we might be in business now, folks. Yep, here we go. AFB was uh, locking things out. Okay. Right. Okay. All done? Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. I'm doing something horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. I'm surprised people aren't raking me over hot coals. What was your new GPU, Pibas? I'm pressing Q. It doesn't seem to be having any impact. It is Q for Cifa, isn't it? Wait a second, what have I done? Have I messed with my keys? <sighs> it is Q for Alerta and DSD reset and Cifa reset and stuff. Oh, have I done what I think I've done? Yeah, really, I'm not having a good session here, am I? Oh, hello.
So it is that. So the Q button is doing that. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Just waiting for the brakes to finish. I'll recharging. Finish release, releasing. They're coming off slowly but surely. Has then trains finally got TSW for PS4? Can't stop playing it. Excellent. That's what I need to know. That's really cool. Thank you, Zen Trends. Right, we're getting power. Got to wait for the brakes to release at the end of the train. It's had it in. You got the G442 and Al Buhler in the sale. Nice. And Lally, this is Rosig North. That's it. Brakes are off now. Uh, now, I've bought Dirt Ford. I plan doing any multiplayer with it. Yes, um, I think so. As part of the car sessions. So, what did I get? I got Dirt Ford. I got ra uh, Rolling Lines. Uh, rolling Line. The virtual reality model railway simulator. Now I've got the hang of the controls. I am having so much fun with that. It's really good. Thank you very much, Reed Varnas. Much appreciated. Says so back with Train Sim Live and we're already having problems. What a way to start. Oh, no. Cr crank the power up. Wow, look at this. I'm holding up the road. I'm holding up the works. Hey Ben, how's it going? How are you enjoying your G29? I'm just watching the... Uh... Hey MRC disc block driver, how are you doing? Okay, reset it that time. How bizarre, I've never had that before where you're smashing the key and nothing's happening. Steel train's off. B is released. So just accelerate up. A big rectangle thing. Oh, I don't know what that means, M trans. Okay, that reset. Okay, good. Oh yeah, I heard about that joint, that's not good. So, what else did I pick up? I didn't pick up much. It's only about 30 quid. Um, so I got Dirt 4, Rolling Line. Um, by the way, are you interested in seeing Rolling Line? Um, I picked up Ninja Tycoon. It's from the same people that do Blueprint Tycoon. It's a bit of fun, a bit of simple fun. It's only a couple of quid. And what else did I get? I think I was too major. Oh, House Flipper. which I thoroughly enjoy. I spent a couple of three or four hours playing it. There's your horn, Adelali. Uh, how do you get mods into Train Sim World? Um, there's some reskin mods that people have done for it. Um, and your best bet is to look for the instructions that come with those. Um, I can't remember exactly what process they're using. Right, we are 2.7 kilometers away from 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, Scotsman, no, I had the beta version of um, for a house flipper, and apparently that didn't become a full version. So uh, I went out and uh, bought it because it was good. Um, and it proved itself, it's, uh, the final version is even better. 
Uh, Darkness Monster. Uh, resubbed here too. 27th month. That's our second 27 month. Huh? It says Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you very much, Darkness Monster. Thank you very much for your support, as always. At some point up here, I'm going to get a 70k. Have I thought about the route building tutorial for TSW? Um, it's basically waiting until I get back to work to think about that stuff. But yes, short answer. Talk about Yeah, the gardening DLC, for now. <clears throat> Which would be good, because you, 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 you get the interior and the exterior of these buildings looking really stunning. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. Obviously, pink is the exterior of choice for everybody. Um, and um, you, you end up with this ratty garden that you can't do anything with, so at least once that comes out you'll be able to do something about it. There's the start of the 70. The Harrison picked up the whole London fabric route, including Sheerness, Swery Line, Steam and the yeah, Wooded in Blue. Oh, that's good. I do like Wooded in Blue. That's a cracker. CG Lives, Universe Sandbox 2, North Wales Coastal, Duchess of Hamilton and the new TGV. Nice. Sifa, Sifa. Oh, I love this route, I really do. Is all the TSW DLC add on on the PS Store? Uh, all the ones that are out, the only one that isn't at the moment is Northern Trans Pennine because it um, is not out yet on PS4. But I gather there's a release date for that one now, although I can't remember what it is. You've got Manchester Leeds, Murricom and CG Live, nice. How are you guys finding it? Now you've had a bit of time to play with um, Northern Trans Pennine, what are you thinking? Still loving? I know I'm enjoying it. I've played a lot of it over the holidays. I've tried to take a break from trains, to be honest. for a freight add on, yeah, really. Of course you can, Undying. January 15th, you reckon, um, Fano and Remy. So the date's out there somewhere, I can't remember it is now. I haven't played any FS19 fellow Jeeva. Which is really silly given I'm paying to host a server. <laughs> Daniel, that's why it's struggling a bit. Crucible 1! 26 months, 26 months! Wow, Happy New Year all! Thank you very much indeed, Crucible 1, much appreciated. We're gonna stop at Pletburn. Struggles, rail driver does not work in TSW yet. No, there's no external hardware interface at all in TSW yet. Right, we've got a green yellow. Talk about Infosol. Sifa. Sifa. 
Uh, Unknown, lights on the outside are not very bright to see where you're going when you open and close the window. I think the audio and the engine should be affected like the PC if this is possible. It should be. So, um, um, and as for lights, that depends. So, a lot of train lights don't actually light up very much. American ones do, but British ones almost certainly don't. So, it really depends on what trains you're talking about. Am I able to let you know how I got View Tracker working in TSW? I wrote my own tool, essentially, that interfaces with View Tracker. So View Tracker provides the um, the tracking information, and um, I then turn that into a mouse input. Uh, there isn't a low horn button on PS4's M trends, so you'll have to operate that using the mouse. Using the controller. High is just click the left controller, I think. There's only a limited number of controls, obviously, on a PlayStation or console controller, so there's only so much you can do. Redders, 20 months. A very happy new year to you, Matt. Thank you very much indeed, Redders, for the support. Much appreciated. Ready Grill? No, this is actually a fairly lengthy run. Because we come up here, stop. We've got to back up. Drop some wagons off. Head on up, and I think we've got a couple of pick up and drop off as, as we go along the line. TSW ever have a Virgin Railway sat on? In the fullness of time, I'm sure many things are possible. There's nothing announced yet, though. Paces need to be a thing in TSW. This is much more important than anything else. Definitely. If there's no paces in TSW this year, I'll be the one flipping my desk, I'll tell you. <laughs> hey, David Mayor 30, thank you for the cheers. Seven three is that the one behind us? Yeah, we've got to drop off the last few cars off here. Turn the FB off and just run the manual control. Fly down the back. Sebastian, 14 months. Happy New Year and uh, an all in chat. Thank you very much indeed, Sebastian. Thank you for your support. See you later, Trunkles. I've not touched anything um, to a bug.
Uh, free room camera on TSW on PS. You press triangle, I think it is, the top button. My controller. Yeah, you press the triangle button on the top, and then that will switch it into camera mode, so it toggles between camera mode and driver mode. Driver mode, you've got full control over the train, which is the default, and then camera mode gives you full control over the camera. You know what cats are like, Z basically, fat. kid. You can never stop a cat getting back in if it wants to get in. Tony Trains! If TSW does Pacer, can a Sprinter be done? As they're better than a Pacer. <laughs> well, actually, I quite like Pacers as well, Sprinters as well, so. Uh, G Cook Scotland, I don't know, um, but I'm going to catch up with um, DTG when I get back to work uh, and find out Zeta. if there's any revised ETA. Everyone's literally done, in fact most people are still on holiday at the moment, and I looked at the calendar, the, the team calendar, so it, really the company starts moving again on Monday when I get back in as well, so I wouldn't expect anything for a little while. There was always going to be a problem with Christmas, getting in the way, so to speak. Hey there, Richard and Steve. Zifa. Zifa. Uncouple the last vehicles. Put it in. Off. Not that door. It's out onto the track. I need a lack. When we get multiplayer, there'll be lackeys that can do this running around. What's the voice audio saying? That's the onboard safety system, basically um, saying, um, responding to the things that are going on. So CIFA is the like the alerter, and it, you get a, a couple of seconds of CIFA, CIFA before it slams the brakes on. Right, one, two, three, four, five. It is all of these ones. What I thought the habans, aren't they? Yeah, habans. <laughs> I've got to roll over to Plettenberg where we'll think we get some more wagons and stick them on the front. What's the objective and premise of this scenario, CG Live? It's a pickup, drop off, run across the length of the route. Hey Simon, how's it going? Alright, we'll pull forward again now. Talk about this is Rosing North, uh, and I'm doing the 80401 service. It's sort of the only one. There's only one service that does what this does, which is this one, which I did. I spent quite a while doing this one because it's a bit more complicated. Little Curs, thank you very much for the uh, resub. 27 months. I see Lee, you're at the office today. I'm not back at work yet. I don't go back till Monday. 
means officially I've got one more day off work. MRC is this loco C for advance. You'll have to explain what you mean by that. Passenger train rolling into the station here at Plattenberg. Hey there, Mold. How's it going? Uh, you went back yesterday. Oh wow. <laughs> I think most, some of the people I noticed in the calendar, some have gone in to, uh, yesterday. Um, yesterday, um, but I noticed a lot of them were still off until Monday, taking advantage of the uh, the three extra days to get another week off, as they should. Uh, Randallator, twenty four months. Merry Christmas, Matt, and Happy New Year. It's that walking sim again. Loving the new MTP. Submit a Eurostar. Definitely not TGV Rezo scenario for you on workshop. Oh, I saw you mention that on. Um, on Discord, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Xmas broke your broader body <laughs> body club, yeah. Zen Trends, this is a BR185.2. About 25 in today. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Hey Live Catcher. Yes indeed, happy new year to you too. Add Lally, some one of the mods can ping you. There you go. Someone's pinged you the address. There's one or two channels that are free uh, for everybody, and then there's the um, uh, there's the rest of the channels are then sub only. Pull forward, and those wagons on the right are the ones I'm looking for. Let's just stop here. Bus driver, you got a 2080 graphics card for Christmas. Whoa. Simon, marvellous to get it to come along. Oh, do, do you enjoy the stream then, Simon? Oh, every 10 seconds, Merci. Holy Moses. Is that across the whole of the fleet? Or is that only on certain classes? Junctions have changed.
put it in a direction that might have a bit more of a chance. Uh, this has e-braking, yes, that lolly. Zifa, Zifa. It just suddenly occurred to me I saw that ground signal sign. Uh. had to do this without some of the recent tools that are in TSW editors now. So for example I had to um, work out how far along to make this without knowing if it would fit. <laughs> Just by guessing. Uh, of course you can, Zentrans. Well at least it wasn't quite guessing but it was put down pretend formations if it fits, work out where it is, go there, close enough. <clears throat> Whereas now you can just plonk it down and it'll tell you if it fits much better. Couple of two wagons. Celestine Master. Zifa, Zifa. Moggy, you prefer North Jersey coast over the New York New Haven route? Really? I must have gone the other way around. But keep an eye on the usual channel, Simon, for updates on the editor. Zifa, Zifa. Yeah, but Bait Binky, you're only supporting Moggy because he takes the other stance and it's not me. Right, oh, really. If he agreed with me, you'd be saying, you're both wrong. <laughs> Relax. 
off us just a bit. Off. NJC at least good, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. That one's good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, so it's this one. Coupled. And then we're under Harkin. I read originally this had a lot more, uh, this had, I think two more stops in it. but. I have to take them out because I can't make them work. Right, throttle's off. AFB switch is on. Power is set to 40 kilometers an hour. Brakes released. Power is on. There we go. What I like a pointless moggy New Year's fact. Moggy, I am always up for a pointless moggy fact. live closer to Birmingham than Cambridge, Moggy. That's amazing. I don't know how you can go through your life only just finding that out. Zifa. Zifa. Shut up, Zifa. Uh, I don't know, how did you discover this, Moggy? <clears throat> Have I heard about your evil, the evil mod JP making your life horrible in World of Warships? On another, what's the most pointless TV show you can watch? Pointless? It doesn't surprise me, JP tells me all sorts of cunning plans. Or is pointless not the pointless answer? And you're looking for the pointless answer. See, this is this is it. We need to know exactly what you're looking for. You had to drive to Ely to pick up your new PC. It took forever. <laughs> right, once we've stopped... This is not working. Oh, here we go. We've got a little one coming down here by the looks of it. Got anything coming up this way? Nothing in range. So it must be that little one coming the other way we're held up for. No, they're automatic switches, um, Big AT. It just means that I'm... I think it's a fairly long signal block going this way. Yeah, it's a huge signal block coming down that way. So this other train has got permission ahead of me. 
I am but a lowly freight. Hello. Hello. I am indeed. No. And you just went to the store? I totally forgot. Thank you, Donnie. Um, can you, I don't suppose you can come here for just a second and look at the color of this oven door? Uh, yeah. Hang on a second, right. folks. Right. Let us return to waiting. Waiting. And waiting. You're coming round the uh, mountain in a minute. Did I set a New Year's resolution, uh, BMJ? Yes, as I told my wife. 3440 by Here it comes. To be honest, I haven't really thought about upgrading. The problem with upgrading from my 1080p um, is that um, then my HDMI switch needs upgrading, which affects all sorts of other things as well. So it's just easier to leave it all for 1080. Watching for the uh, the switch here to change. Yep, there it goes. Hey, Nerf my age, how's it going? In all seriousness, no, in terms of resolution, generally need to take better care of myself. 
somehow. And um, so I've got the treadmill back there behind the screen. So the idea is to actually use it. Apparently, you have to use it. You don't have to, apparently owning a treadmill is not enough. You have to actually use it as well. Which I thought that was ridiculous. They never said anything like that on the uh, on the press. Yeah, don't be silly about less bacon. What's that going on about? Five hundred hertz gone out. In which case, let's put it up to the speed limit. an hour in a minute. Zifa. Zifa. There we go. So I picked up, uh, I don't know if anyone here is familiar with a site called Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y. Um, they've got stuff on uh, a New Year discount for two or three more days. I picked up their complete course for Blender modelling and it is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I've only done the first three sections so far, which is quite a lot. Um, it's something like 310 lectures and section three gets you to about the end of about lecture 50 or 60 um, but yeah I'm quite pleased actually it's um, it's taught me a lot um, and I've got a lot more to go there's nine or ten sections in total I think blender is 3d modeling Rivanis So if you want to make custom models for TSW or even TS1, to be honest, but um, then um, yeah, Blender is uh, is a uh, a free way of doing it. I also got my um, I bought this keyboard. It's an Evolution MK three sixty one C. Uh, I bought it ages ago like, you know, 15 years ago. And the software it comes with is diabolical. Um, and I never really got much use out of it. When I say keyboard, I mean musical keyboard. Um, black and white notes, that kind of thing. Um, and 70 coming up. I just love the visuals as you come out of the tunnel. And everything just looks sort of stunningly real. Um, but I've managed to find some free software and lashed it all together and the end result is superb it's fixed all of the issues that I had with it because via the software it comes with it's had a bit of a, a lag so you press the key there'd be a lag and then you'd hear the sound which makes it awful to use I mean I'm not I'm not musical well I'm a little bit musical I was like a long time ago I want to learn again but having this is 100 isn't it having um, a um, 
having a delay like that which just makes it unplayable whereas this new software you can toggle the delay it's a buffer and using the um, buffer I can adjust that so instead of being 200 milliseconds which is what it is by default I've got it down now to 10 milliseconds to where it plays beautifully I have no idea Steve I'm not involved in any of that side of the business so if you're what concerned then drop them a tweet or a Facebook post or something Seventy warning coming up very shortly. There it is. Oh look, there's the power move. Almost down to the seventy. What did I miss, folks? Are you finished? Thank you. Chris5012, thank you very much for the resub. 27 months. 27 months already? How time flies. It does indeed. Depends how much fun you're having, doesn't it? Good night, Zendrens. systems to reset. Can someone go and have a look and tell me what happened there? Oh, I definitely acknowledge receiving my breakfast this morning. I have no fear about that. 737500 JF, thank you very much. 27 months as well. Much appreciated, folks. Thank you very much for your support. Right, breaks are almost off. Brakes have come off. That's better. Steve, you picked 120. You paid, spent 120 quid in the sale. Picked up 19 items, roots and locos. Nice, nice one, Steve. Keep busy. Hi, Chris. I had a great Christmas. Thank you. As I said earlier on, I've been doing um, blender modelling. Um, that one. That one. Yeah, I've been learning, teaching myself blender through this course on Udemy. Um, oh, that was my bad. That was. that was definitely my bad. I was on monitoring and I shouldn't have. Uh, <clears throat> I need to set RFB to 40. <laughs> AFB, sorry. RFB. What am I on? Hopefully in a minute, brakes will start releasing. Darkness, is that contributing to the same? Shouldn't that number have reset by now? There goes the brakes coming off.
try that again. Thank you very much for gifting Flying Scotsman a sub there, Baked Bean Kid. Much appreciated. Uh, Oggy1967, why is it taking so long for the 33 to come to console? Christmas probably had something to do with that. I think we find lots of people all over the world um, have been off work for the last two or three weeks. I've got no idea, Steve. I can't give out any any news or updates that isn't been done officially, Steve, unfortunately. But I'm actually not at work at the moment. I haven't been for the, since the end of November. So well, any information I've got is probably largely well out of date now anyway. When am I next for planning on doing PCAST 2? Not sure. It'll be on a Friday at some point. Because Friday is our normal day for such such craziness. Right, we've got no PZB craziness going on. Let's accelerate to the limit. Let catcher, sixteen months of train simming. Thank you very much indeed, let catcher. Much appreciated. Slowly bring it up to the limit. Yana, yeah, no, what games I'm playing tomorrow? I haven't thought about tomorrow at all, Yana. Yeah, no. Not in the slightest. kilometers an hour. Pretty much baked bean kid. Pretty much. <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, Igoris, thank you very much for a resub. 22 months. And he says good morning all. Good morning to you sir. Thank you very much for your support. It's more a case that people at Dovetail do listen to what people say, baby big kid. <laughs> Everyone says, we won. This is fantastic. Everybody says they won this, so maybe it should be made. Oh, sorry, Ed. did I put the one I want? It's with the 47, isn't it? I copied and pasted it from one down and out the one before it. Uh, how does the bot that allows chat to drive train sim work? That's a custom code that I've written, baby Joey. Um, so, I'm short of writing your own code, it's not something you can generally do. I'll tell you what, a 1080 graphics card moggy, that's going to be a bit of a step up. You're going to be ready. You're going to have to uh, tie back all your hair for that. Blow your eyebrows off. That will. Talk about him for a song. See that. He only has two heads. <laughs> well, I just need salad tape then. Oh, so I, haven't, so I probably haven't, because it, it requires me to load a web browser and point it to the right URL, so... Never mind, leave it as it is. <laughs> oh, 
I'll fix it after this scenario. I really need to find a better way of doing it. Having it capturing from a web browser is a pain in the neck. It's not particularly complicated to be honest, Baby Joey. Uh, I used an IRC module, which I got from um, the module library that comes with your studio. Um, that connects to the chat. And then I used, uh, I accessed a RAL driver DLL to talk to the game. And then just write a little bit of code that bridges between the two. There's not a lot to it, to be honest. Big kid loves his witchcraft talk. Of it. It's already pretty. Uh, you're only going 80 kilometres an hour, so you don't need to check or driver for dropping to 70. So has anyone here had a play with a rolling line yet? What do you think? I was playing it earlier on today. I played it yesterday for a bit in, uh, in VR and it um, the controls, the trackers on the VR controllers were out of calibration by the looks of it. So it meant that basically anywhere I clicked, it clicked anywhere on it. So it, the game was just doing absolutely bonkers things that made no sense. And I sort of switched it off in frustration. But well, I figured out how to recalibrate the controllers today and um, had a really good time with this afternoon playing model trains. Yeah, it's a virtual reality model railway simulator, Mr. Cubs. It's got relatively basic graphics, a sort of classic Unity store look and feel. But I have to say, it's absolutely exceptional. I mean, it's model railway experience, there's no physics or anything like that. Hey Schnauzer, how's it going? Back up to the limit, let's go back up. You know that you got the recently got the Transpennine, it's fantastic. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm gonna run a couple of scenarios on it next.
So as you bought the Long Island today, download and get on it tomorrow. Nice. Long Island's another good one. Long Island, Roy North and this are sort of my top three at the moment. Well, they're the, late, the latest three as well, which I guess is no coincidence. But um, yeah, the um, Long Island, the Roy North and the um, Northern Trans Pennine, they're, uh, yeah, they're a good time. And I say that even with my biases. Ooh, we're going to get a brief stint at 100 kilometers now, by the looks of it. What's the bet and we don't actually get to 100 kilometers now before it drops down? Yeah. How long is it? It's like uh, 35 miles or something, Adelaide. It's not massively long. It's amazing how long it takes to drive, even at uh, line speeds. Um, not tonight, Schnauzer, um, but um, next time, maybe. Rivanis, uh, when's the editor? There's no release date announced yet for it, uh, Rivanis. It's more important that it's right than it's now, is my view, personally. Should get the jump to 100 kilometers an hour any second. Yeah, I've got those set up on this system now if I'm running all of the um, some extra lines in the setting in the any file. I'm excited for this year in TSW as well, Oki. Absolutely. I think it could be uh, very interesting. When shall you upgrade your RAM? When you need more RAM. Elton, good evening. It's a Raven simulation with a new name. Oh, nice. What do I think of RW Enhancer? I've seen some really nice looking screenshots of it. I've not actually um, looked at it myself yet. Oh, the 33 is gorgeous. That was a power. If you want to hear the 33 doing some thrash, go and watch the dev stream that I did on the official channel, because I, I hook it up on the uh, Leeds Manchester route, and um, with, um, I don't know, load 7 or 8 or something like that, and then bring it up the hill on maximum power. Epic. Little bulbs. You mean for the oven? I've got it out. Oh, nice one. No, I haven't got anything like it's that. It's broken. No. So stream
Uh, yeah, there was no sound intentionally fucked. I, I was having a chat with um, with somebody who'd just been at the hospital, and she didn't really want to hear it, have her uh, symptoms described. Right. Boo, make it up. <laughs> right, drop it to 90. Probably going to drop again next. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting a standing desk BMJ. Oggy, what will happen to TSW when the next gen consoles come out? It's not far away now. Where are you getting that idea from, Oggy? Oggy? There's not been any announcements about next gen consoles yet. Three or four years at least, I would suggest. But whenever it does happen, it did be down to uh, be the same as you know. Look at what's happened to previous consoles. So when Xbox 360 became Xbox One, so if the console allows playing older games on it, then great. If it doesn't, then you have to play it on the older console. That's just how consoles work. But once there's been announcements, then we'll have more to talk about. But at the moment, nobody knows anything about these. What the next set of consoles is going to be. So. Mad box. What on earth is that, Ribby? Next year is the first of the next year. Really? Which one is that then? You sure you're not being had? Eric, is there an autopilot available? So I'm using cruise control at the moment, it's called AFB. I'm just setting the target speed. If you look in the bottom corner down here, this blue triangle here, and also where the yellow um, diamond is on the display here, this is where the target speed is. And then throttle and brake is managed automatically using AFB. Box by the people that made Project Cars. Oh, well, best of luck to them. It's not something I'd heard anything about, honestly. I'll have to go and have a dig into it and find out more about it. I don't think you can underestimate the amount of effort it requires to market a console. It's taken Microsoft an enormous sum of money to get Xbox where it is. Thank you for the cheers, Chris. Oh, about in about three years. Okay. That'd be about when the next generation is then. I must admit, I'm not expecting next gen, like I said, for three years minimum. It would be suicide for Microsoft and Sony to bring out something sooner than that, I think, personally. Having just done a mid-season refresh, a mid-gen a mid refresh, 
which was five years into the life of the Xbox One, they brought out the Xbox One X. I'm expecting that that would be left for five years as well. The 360 had a lifetime of 10 years, and I suspect, I might, I'm guessing or hoping, is that this is a five and five. <sighs> UK TSEC, 26 months. Um, uh, 26 months and you still have me hanging around pressing the button in Minecraft. Keep up the good work and pass the TNT, please. Thank you very much, EC. Much appreciated. Do I prefer PC, Jake? I'm actually a fan of all platforms. Um, because there's... Um, there's a, I play the consoles because I like the simplicity of them. Um... <laughs> You never have to mess about with drivers that just work. Um, so I've been a fan of consoles for a long time now. My first console was an uh, well, actually a Nintendo 64, but in in, in sort of uh, more power, the uh, um, was the um, the Xbox, the original Xbox Classic. Danderman, 24 months, two years. What time has flown by? Thank you for all the entertainment over the years, and I hope that I stay subbed for a long time. By the way, I am getting a bit of money now for a UK trip, so 2020 or 2021 could be a real possibility. That is amazing. I'm just going to drop that down to 40 where it needs to be. Drop down to 85. <laughs> The thing is that um, consoles are out, get are outdated, but they're consistent and stable. Um, and PCs are immediately outdated. That's the thing you say. In you know, a console, it's inevitable a new one will come. Well, yes, it definitely is. A PC is inevitable a new one will come. Um, and can you? Yes, to some extent, you can use some of your new year old hard you know games on it. In fact, you can use almost all your old games on it, but. They're not any better than they were previously, um, and the myth of upgrading a PC, you know, if it's any kind of sensible upgrade, it's pretty much a start from scratch. So, I don't know. It's I'm a, like I said, I'm a big fan of consoles. Talk about him for a song. Right, speed limit to forty, but the PC is. Is sort of like is 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 your high spec top end platform, but you don't need a PC to enjoy gaming. See you later, Schnauzer. Moggy, on your trip, really, you got to try VR. Which system was it? Was it Oculus or HTC? Yes, P PC is definitely the content creator's machine. Definitely, Uriel, without a shadow of a doubt. Remember, you just want to play Wii Sports Resort. That is so good. I love Wii Sports Resort. Uh, 
taking the slow freight lines. I think that's a good point as well, TSW consoles here for those of us who can't afford a gaming PC. For quite a while, I went through a point, quite a long number, quite a long time ago now, where I couldn't afford a gaming PC. And the gaming PC that I had was, at that point, quite old. I couldn't afford to upgrade it. Um, and so all of my gaming was through a console. The only way I could, the only way I could play games was on a console because my PC just wasn't up to it, or I didn't know it was up to it. That was the problem. It was. If I buy this game, will it work? Steam didn't have a refund policy at the time, so it's a case that it probably won't, so I won't bother. Um, and I would just start on the PC, on the uh, console. Years this lasted. Now, nowadays I've got a PC, and my preference would be to buy the game on the PC. So this, you know, there's a clear preference there. But I certainly don't hold it against anyone who wants to play console. Totally get it. I still got PS4 under my desk here that I use. I'm playing uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided on the PS4 at the moment, and Watch Dogs 2 on the PC, for reasons of, well, we were cheap. Well, one was free on the PS4 and one was, um, uh, was cheap on the PC. <laughs> Speed up a little bit, we are going to get dropped down to 40 again shortly. Only a couple of kilometres left to go on this run. Not a clue TSW. I imagine it'll be the normal loco price, but I don't know. Well, I knew this is one of this is, I think, the longest service that comes in the service mode for this route, uh, Revy. And I knew I hadn't run it yet, so uh, I thought I needed to fix that and run it. Hey, Five Fighter, settled into your new home, nice. Aces Trains, thank you for the follow. We moved from Chicago to Florida. Whereabouts in Florida? My father in law used to live in um, Port Charlotte. Loved it there, absolutely loved it there.
Mr. Panda, thank you for the 45 bits, much appreciated. We've got another outbound freight coming there. Is he moving? Right. Probably waiting for me to get my backside out of the way. You're about 90 minutes from UPSW. Nice. Yep, there he goes. He's off. Oh, uh, excuse me, 90. Five months of train awesomeness. Also, Happy New Year to yourself, chat, and mods. By the way, you now have finally left Fluville after two weeks. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you for the great work. Thank you very much, oh, excuse me. Good to see you. Thank you very much for the support. Getting two dogs, BMJ. Oh, wow. Ziva. Ziva. My, my two cats are trouble enough. Turns out our cats have been scamming us. They've been saying that they want, um, they're not getting food and they'd like food. And they'd say that to someone in the morning. And then a little bit later on, when someone else walked by, they'd be like, we haven't been fed. And they'd be circling the dish frantically like they've not been fed so far today. So they'd get fed. And they'd, they were ending up getting fed like three and four times a day. Cheeky little so-and-sos. So they're on a diet now. <laughs> Right, let's just exit the vehicle. And off the AI goes, taking it down out the route. See you later, disc driver. Side there. We've got another one waiting to come in, another passenger train coming in over there. Quite busy at this point, isn't it? What time of day is this? 1.42. Get out of the railway. Let's head down to Hagen, see what see what action is occurring. Get on and we'll do some Northern Trans Benign. No, my I finished my shift and another driver's taking it off to its next destination. Somewhere down here is Hagen Station. Where is it? K 
Hey, Reiki, this yard is enormous. Nothing coming in there still. Just genuinely blooming huge, this yard, it really is. Oh, look, there's the uh, the roof over there. Look, we're getting there slowly but surely. Call of Duty train yards, yeah. Probably fine, that was it. There'll be no more trains now, forever. Uriel, it's a beautiful route this is. really is. The guy at the team did an amazing job on it. Hey Dash Dick, how's it going? Let's have a look, is there anything coming through? Told you there wouldn't be, look. All that excitement. It's all finished. Right. 